ni vizuri kuvumiliana saa hii ukipata na saa hii kama hakuna pesa na kweli kuna love vumilianeni there is at the end of the tunnel there is light at the end of the tunnel there is light so So, guess what guys? I might be filming in one of the most uncomfortable situations because we are not allowed to film. But guess what? I came here so that I can record a video with my mom and I am actually going to do it but in one of the most appealing, relaxing, breathtaking environments. I know the background does not seem like so but I'll be currently showing you around. Uh, this is Palette Cafe in Darlington. Serene environment guys. And uh, so what makes this uh, restaurant so unique and had us coming over here is because uh, the waiters over here are all deaf so you either uh, have to do it by sign language or you have to just uh, like you have to pick you have to pick the menu then you have to literally point down what you want and if they don't really get it they give you a pen and a paper and you write down what exactly you may need for me that's that's that, that's everything that's everything so leave alone that uh i have a guest for you guys yeah <laughs> yeah so mom yeah. welcome thank you so much my name is phoebe michelle's mama here yes yeah so guys do we look alike no rangi ya thao na kukungine ukaungua kidogo so i thought I should bring my mom on my platform cuz I feel like she's my biggest support system you guys she's my biggest support system so you know a little bit about me so I wanted you guys to meet my mom and you can know a little bit about her she'll be answering some of the questions that I'll be asking about motherhood about herself you know nini nini something like that yeah so you guys will get to meet her and we can see maybe if I get some of this charisma the smile from her is, but the smile is legit i get it from her yeah so mom you ready yes i am okay let's do this then yeah yes yes we make this youtube people happy yes okay <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah let's go uh so what is the best thing about motherhood oh about motherhood one i would say it's it feels so good like now it feels so good see my children grow pray for them see them succeed that is a mother that's a prayer for every mother so let me say the most important thing is to see your children grow healthy happy and succeed just that okay yes we do ah yeah next one yes um so guys we're going to make this a bit short mm. and brief and straight to the point and maybe a bit fun okay so let's do it um ha, what is the best age to conceive oh i can say the best age there is no best age there is like when the when the right when it comes any time when it comes let me say that is the right time okay i would say it's good to take care wait for that time but if anything comes before then that's the right time with god that is what i can see i can say with god that's the right time because you can say you want to get you want to be a mother at maybe 40 maybe 27 maybe whatever time but whatever time god says this is the right time it is the right time that is what i can say Okay. Yeah. So no specific age. No, he come in a Yeah, Guys, no specific age kwa sababu sasa unaweza fikiria utaki unaweza fikiria unaweza pata hata tuite accidentally ama tuseme nini ile tu mtu unajua hakuna mtu anajua kama Mungu inaweza tu kuja alafu fikiria juu sasa niko 20 is not the right time acha hii nitoe ningoje 40 hiyo 40 ukose. So ikikuja ile time imekuja just ujue tu hiyo Mungu ndo amesema na hiyo take care of it but pia ni vizuri kujichunga that is what i would say okay mm. haya so let's get to hey the three of us the three children who is a mama's girl a mama's girl is here <laughs> michelle <laughs> michelle ndio first born and she's hey. the mama's girl okay kila sayo kwa mom mom 
mom. She's the mama's girl. Okay. Wait, I describe you. Who is that? Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm, I'm the one who's slacking. Yes. She's like, keep the questions coming. Elisa. Okay, keep the questions coming. Uh, what is the one thing you refuse to share? Uh, and even now, what I don't like sharing, I refuse to share, and even now, I still refuse to share. Yeah. Is my I love my rings so much. <laughs> my earrings. <laughs> oh, but then we used to fight about this. Oh, yeah, yes. when earrings, I, I do. Pizza, na nunua leo. Enda river road, na tafuta zile mzuri sana, kesho yake, akuna. That is, akio university, zinapotea moja moja. Yeah, but then, you know, guys, by then, I didn't know that, you know, the Duboa vibe, Duboa is Duboa. <laughs> what were Duboa is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by then, I didn't really know where to go and find all these things. But now I know, mm-hmm. I won't take them in. And bring back, bring them back. Okay, I'll bring presents. <laughs> ah, yeah, so, yes. Uh, what is the craziest thing you've ever done? Hey, this one, I am ready to hear. <laughs> this one, I am ready to hear. Sasa kutoka lini? Kutoka those days, ama saai, ama maisha nitu yote. Kisa metu nikiwa high school. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ile ilikuwa crazy kabisa. Nikuanzisha strike na nikaka, nikaa ni mimi ndo sikuanzisha. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> Ile ilikuwa crazy sababu ni manyamaza na ni mindo ni meanzisha. Na wengine wakanifuata nyuma na ika succeed. Kuna wei li succeed na tukatoroka. <laughs> oh yeah, it's okay. Give us this. Yes. Okay. Ooh. This was mine. Mom. Yeah. I'm going to a mukbang now. So mom, at what age did you conceive? Um, I conceived when I was... 21. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was only 21. To you. Of course to me. That's when, yeah, <laughs> that's when I got you. Of course to me. Yeah. Okay. I am. Let's move on, guys. Um, the next question is How many serious relationships did you have before you settled down? Uh, seriously speaking, I can tell you one, and that was my boyfriend and now my husband father to my beautiful guys yes mm. like you some of us kissed a thousand frogs and are still kissing <laughs> <laughs> it's because nowadays you people you are not serious with life you want to experience so many things that's the reason let's leave it there uh, let's leave it there uh, <laughs> you guys um Come visit Palette Cafe. It's good. Anyway, yeah, mom. Yes. Growing up. Yes. What did you think you wanted to do for a living? Mm. I'm telling you, I always, I was dreaming of uh, being an air hostels. And then you're in Kafu. Hey, nasipo na taka pitu. Wanu kwa nasema nita jitetea kwa wawo watu. Because I used to admire those girls so much. But then unajua funny enough, I used to run away from mom mm-hmm. at the end of the job. Mm-hmm. I go to the airport. Na chukua fare ile ameniachia. By the that time, fare ya kutoka kwenye tulikuwa tunaishi. Si tulikuwa tunaishi hapo Kenya Tire State. Pale tulikuwa tunaishi kutoka hapo kwenda airport ilikuwa 10 bob. That's Wilson Airport. Oh yeah, yeah, no no no. International. Oh, yes. 10 bob. 10 bob. Kutoka hapo those days. 10 bob ukiona 20 bob umeenda na umerudi. Wow. So I used to go there, sit down, ningoja wakitoka, nione tu wakikatuo tu hivyo wakibeba. So always, ata vitabu zangu nilikuwa naandika Phoebe the air hostess. Unfortunately, air hostess yangu, ikakuja na iyo 21, ikakuja hapa, e, nikapata iyo air hostess. So, <laughs> ikatulia tu. Kasema ndiyo iyo. So I, I, I shattered the dream. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, I'm, yes. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I am. Let's continue. What's the best trip you've ever taken? Best trip? Mm-hmm. Yeah, best trip yangu yenye nisha yenda ni kafurai ya kabisa. Nya Mombasa. Nya Mombasa na buwanangu ni kafurai ya. <laughs> Nipenda places yenye sije yenda. Kuzingine. Nika have fun. 
kuna nasema hiyo trip ya Mombasa ya once kuna okay kuna nilimeenda kadhaa yeah, but, but now kuna we, moja with your hubby now yes my hubby anaitwa hubby mm. oh my hubby <laughs> <laughs> ama ni bay 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 hiyo nilienda ilinifurahisha sana nili have fun by the way tuli enjoy sasa mm. saa mpaka leo nice mm. nice yeah. mm, you guys Sisi, we are finding out some things also with you here mm-hmm. online tower and yeah, let's keep going <laughs> what was the, what what's the worst fight you ever had with my dad my husband with my hubby <laughs> so what advice would you give to your younger self at the age of 20 30 40 Uh, actually nikirudisha hiyo swali what i would say mm-hmm. one i have no regrets about my life mm-hmm. because if i had mom even that one thing which one now like oh oh nikiwa 20s mm-hmm. ningesema mm-hmm. i wish ningesoma sana mm-hmm. sana mm-hmm. <laughs> so ningekuwa daktari for real <laughs> ningekuwa daktari ama ningekuwa nini lakini sasa ilifika mahali nikakataa ah nikachoka pia nikasema kasema hii masomo ah ikakataa kuingia more than that so mimi nikasemaje so that's that's the one thing you'd have told you yeah eh, ah, ningejua tu ningesema wacha nizikaze nisome uh-huh. nisome mpaka mahali nitanipeleka mwisho But sasa ilifika mali I think nikachoka. Sasa hii lakini sasa hii nikirudishwa <laughs> nitasoma. Basa kurudi na ndio siezi rudi. But ningesoma tu sana. But haikuwa inaingia sana so maybe bado. <laughs> maybe bado I think I fika tu hapo. But hata ile nilisoma <laughs> nipo ajui. Nimenifikisha tu mali nimenifikisha. <laughs> Mimi amasomo tu maybe ndo ninge ningefikiria tu kwa sababu mm. ya life I have no regrets. Mm. Yes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, let me end this. Hebu someni, msi ni copy. Mtu asome, akiweza kusoma asome. But hata isipoingia tu kama yangu, kuna kitu kingine tu God amekublessia. Juu inaweza fika mahali yenyewe, hata uno uone hata kidungwa shindano hizi ingia. But kuna tu yenye God amekublessia, unaona? Hata usipopata degree mimi najua tu najua degree sio everything Uta, unaweza toka huko nje na u make it okay. unaona yeah. juu pia unaweza soma degree na degree kama kumi na pia ikuwe uh, kwa hapa upstairs kwa life huko uh, poa so utakaa tu na hizo ma degree kwa nyumba so ni poa tu mtu akiweza kusoma asome tu kweli well, but ikigonga mawe ukitoka huko nje eh uh, hustle because up to now i'm still a business lady yes and i'm happy about it Well, so guys um that is it for maybe part one. if you guys would like more <laughs> or if i feel like i'll want to have a part two of this video i'll graciously add a part two. but for now mom thank you very much for gracing my channel you're ah, welcome and till next time guys don't forget i always say live to your fullest tomorrow is never certain so bye bye